Hi everybody, we're back with my third reaction to the album from Diana and Kintanova. And it's from her DA album that she's done recently and wrote herself, co-produced, edited, all of that, all the things involved. And what she's produced is something extraordinarily special. This vid it is a video lyrical video and it is in English. So from her mother tongue to you, it's in English. And from me to all of you out there as well, from all the other countries, the thousands of people that follow me on this channel now, I am happy to say it's in over 32 languages because she deserves to be recognized for the, in, the, the depth that she does when she writes a song. The, lyrical, the lyrics of most of the reactions that I've ever done to her songs have always been beyond her years. But when it comes to the album itself, it's beyond your wildest dreams. It's just one album that you would say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to put that on my playlist and I'm going to actually purchase this. I've always said I keep politics out of music and I do. And I've, I've always supported this artist. I always will. Her fans have always supported me in the oh, thousands. And she is always in the top 10 with two or three videos of my reactions. So how can I disband on her because of that? I will always support her. The one thing I love about her is her fluctuation from being able to hit high notes to soothingly with her vocals, just taking on a journey of wonderment. But I never expected this real depth of, how can I put this, of incredibility that she has to write incredible lyrics. And as always, I've got to say, Maria Tesarenko, the arrangement was by Nikita Urino, and lyrics by Maria as well. Maria, thank you for doing the lyrics in English. I really appreciate that. That helps me out. But also, I research for the lyrics, and sometimes there's little deviations. But you, De Diana fans, you always, um, you don't mind that, which is great. So what we're going to do is listen to another track and I will give you my interpretation afterward. But we're not going to disturb the pleasure you'll get out of, if you're English, reading the lyrics and understanding what I'm saying about how incredible she is writing songs. And the next stage of her life is this, writing her songs, producing her, uh, her own albums. And Diana never give up because you're a sensational young woman, not even a... I always say child, woman, lady. And um, you're at this wonderful woman stage in your life. And I'm just so glad I'm on this journey. So let's take it away. Let's enjoy the sensual vocals of Diana and Kinchinova. Часто небо цвет Прощая то, что не простить Мы через тучи видим свет И узнаем, как дальше жить Мы слышим звуки в тишине Они срываются на крик И вновь запутавшись в себе Мы упускаем счастье миг А на краю чужой мечты Тебя совсем никто не ждет Ты можешь падать с высоты И верить в то, что это вздох Дорог так много у судьбы Где наши сразу не понять Ты просто верь свои мечты И ты научишь их Следы меняя свет на полутень. Ты видишь свет из темноты, так наступает новый день. 
Отбросив страхи на пути, ты сможешь многое понять. Любовь внутри себя найти и никогда не потерять. Никогда не потерять. А на краю чужой мечты тебя совсем никто не ждет. Ты можешь падать с высоты и верить в то, что Наша сразу не понять Ты просто верь свои мечты И ты научишь их летать Now, I enlarged my video. I'm going to reduce it now. I'm just going to play around with it so we don't get distracted while I speak. I had to enlarge it so the English subtitles would come up for English speaking people to understand the lyrics and read along because the music and the voice is just incredible. And I'm going to say a prayer and I think all Diana fans need to join me. And I really mean this, dear God, in heaven please do not allow diana and continuova ever to give up singing the world needs to listen to more of what she has to offer amen because she really is something i have always been spellbound by her i always will for as long as she sings and i'll always do reactions because I believe in supporting them to that very end of the road. Look, it's like me with my channel. I want it to be the biggest music channel on YouTube. I have a dream. Even at my mature age, all of us have dreams. All of us want to go somewhere. And a bit like Diana singing in the lyrics, we all want to fly, fly, fly. We don't know where. We'll land with our feet in life or where it will take us flying. But we want to continue to fly. That's what life is about. The lyrics, straight on to the lyrics. And I have them in front of me. It starts, the sky often changes colour, forgiving what cannot be forgiven. We see the light through the clouds and learn how to live on. This can be, I always interpretate, Diana Ankenova's songs differently than most reactors. I don't read what social media says. All the fans know, thousands of fans know, who follow me on this channel, that I always give you my interpretation. Something comes into my head, a story when I read her lyrics. And it could be completely different to what the lyrics are about. But Diana Ankenova has already said, her lyrics are open to interpretation. She has said that publicly. And I want to reinforce this before I tell you what that could mean to me. So I'll read it again. The sky often changes colour, forgiving what cannot be forgiven. We see the light through the clouds and learn how to live on. As always, her, her lyrical writing is so poetic. It's so It means many things to many people and what i'm getting from that is forgiving what cannot be forgiven so there's a question straight away in line two the sky often changes color but we often change color and the color to me reflects moods and how we are and we react to nature and diana is a huge fan of nature and I feel Mother Nature has embraced Diana. And especially in her own motherland, she loves to portray 
how beautiful her motherland is to the world. And I think that's a beautiful thing to do. It's no different than Irish artists doing it about Irish as um, landscapes and all of that and birds. And Diana's involved with that. And she's very spiritual. So I take this from a spiritual level that she's on. How many times have we looked at the sunset and the sun and thought, wow, how beautiful. And it changes color. I do it in Dublin here on a sunny days when the sun is going down a beautiful orange sky appears and it changes your mood when you're looking at it because what the eyes see the heart feels but if you're forgiving that means it's about something that's upset you in the past or a situation around you it could be a work situation study situation no matter what it is straight away forgiveness comes out what cannot be forgiven Ask yourself in your life, what is what is something that I have or somebody has done or somebody has created that I can't forgive? We all have something. And we see the light through the clouds. It's true. Clouds are symbolic of white and fluffy. And when we look in the sky, it's what makes the blue skies brighter. And a grey sky, when we see the clouds bright up, brighten up the the even a gray cloud in other words that's symbolic of having light at the end of the tunnel in in what you cannot forgive about and learn how to live on learning how to live on when you can't forgive is a difficult thing my advice to you breathe in and say to yourself every day i will learn to move on if you cannot forgive you must learn to move on so let's see what number verse 2 says we hear sounds in in the silence they break into a cry and again entangled in ourselves we miss a moment of happiness we hear sounds in the silence you cannot forgive we have to learn to live on and now she's saying we hear sounds in the silence we do that's it, your thoughts when when let's say a relationship broke let's take this for example let's say Diana is talking about a relationship and it breaks or somebody in our family dies and our hearts are broken because of these situations whatever it is or you lost your job or something like this when you're sitting alone in your room or in in that place within your home and there's no one around and you've got silent but you hear things that's your thoughts, your upsets, your emotions. And they break into a cry. That's you physically. Your thought process becomes a physical action and you break into a cry. And again, entangled in ourselves. Because when we're upset and she talks about forgiveness and learning to live on and breaking into a cry, the next thing she's talking about is we miss a moment of happiness. We do. When there's a great cloud and we're upset, how many times have we said, I just wish I didn't cry. I wish I didn't get upset about that situation. Because it mightn't be about this song about somebody you've lost or something. But we've all cried over something that, that we cannot forgive a person for or forgive a situation for. Or a situation has upset you that you'll you can never forgive those involved for and as i said we be, we become entangled with our emotions we get so upset by it it's crazy and we miss moments of happiness for example it could, if you were really upset about something and you couldn't forgive a situation or somebody and somebody rang you and said hey i'm going out tonight to the cinema do you want to join me to watch a, a fun film that's a moment of happiness, believe it or not. It is. And it's just an example of how many other moments of happiness. She continues, and on the edge of someone else's dream, no one is waiting for you at all. You can fall from a height and believe that this is takeoff. How many times, and it is about, I feel love. She's talking about love for somebody. How many times, or a situation, how many times have you fallen in love and every day you're happy and every day it's gone really well, it's gone really, really well and it's like running, you're running with the happiness, you're so happy, you want a joy, everything's great but then you turn around and you think 
are they really happy with me? There's, you always get a moment where you stop and you pause for breath because your brain is wanting to think. And we all analyze things. All of us do situations, everything, even love. Do they really love me? Do they know I love them? It's always on our mind. Love is the most important thing in the world, to be loved, to love somebody, and them to love you back. The most important thing we all want to seek in life. But you do ask yourself, do they love me? Is it a false love? You question it. And that's what we said about somebody else's dream. Are they living their own lives? Are we living a life? Or are they just with me for a, a moment of happiness, living my dream, saying things to me, being nice to me, saying all the things I want to hear to keep me happy. And, I, and I'm in this dreamland because it's so good, but yet really they're not happy. We do ask, because she, she says, no one is waiting for you at all. It's the worst thing when you're happy and you think everything is great and then you realize it's broken. They weren't happy and they've left me. And you can fall from a great height of, oh, this was amazing, to crying so much it pains your chest to cry anymore. And your eyes are red, but red with anger. Because you're so angry at yourself, you've allowed to, you've been hurt and you've fallen so high. And believe that this is takeoff. Sometimes you believe that you'll bounce back up. That's what she's saying, and fly into the sky again. But not everybody does. Let's continue. Fate is so many roads where ours is not immediately understood. You just believe in your dreams and you'll reach them to fly, fly. That is about self-belief. What she's saying, if you want to fly and fly and fly, even in a broken situation and you're all about forgiveness and not forgiving and all of this, you can still empower yourself and go, I'll, be, I'll become strong. I'll get through this day and everything will be okay. You can. If you believe in yourself, the first step in healing is to look in a mirror, which you walk past often, and look at yourself and say, I'm going to be a better person today. I'm going to be strong. Try it sometime. I've done it, and it does work. And Because as she says, then you stop believing in yourself. You start believing in your dreams. Happiness comes back into your life. The great cloud goes away. You see the sky changing, as she talked about in the beginning. And life becomes normal. You stop feeling sorry for yourself, the situation. You stop being angry and not forgiving. And you forget about the situation. And you forgive. It does turn around if you believe in yourself. And know that you can be strong to get through a situation. She says the wind erases all traces, changing the light to partial shade. You can see the light from the darkness, so a new day comes. So in other words, you see the light from the darkness, from the depth of your emotions, from the hurt, from the pain. You can see light if you believe in yourself. And the wind erases all traces. What's she talking about there? I often refer to it, even if I'm a novelist, and I often refer to it in my novels, about the sound of the voices in the wind. That's your thought process. That'll quieten down. You'll learn to sleep again and sleep normally and be at peace. If you believe in yourself, everything falls into place. If you believe you'll get over the pain and say it to yourself, I'll, I'll make this a good day today. And wake up positive, you'll go to bed positive. Because she says in the next part of this song, rejecting fears on the way, you can understand a lot. In other words, if you reject all the anger and all the upset and learn to empower yourself, everything will start making sense in your life again. You'll start moving forward again and you'll start being happy again. But that takes, as she says, love inside yourself to find and never lose. In in other words, look at yourself and say, and empower yourself and learn to love yourself. I've Just exactly what I said before. And it will be okay. She continues, and on the edge of someone else's dream, no one is waiting for you at all. You can fall from a great height and believe that this is takeoff. Yes, we've discussed that. But what she, when she repeats it here, it's more or less an affirmation she's making. That you can fall and believe it's takeoff. But this time, 
you have taken off because you're at the stage of healing where you've actually healed yourself by believing in yourself. And then she says, faith is so many roads where ours is not immediately understood. Yes, faith, when we're on a faith, faith is about the future. What road will we take in life? Nobody knows. What country will we end up? Nobody knows. Who will we marry? Nobody knows. Who will upset me? Nobody knows. We're not meant to know everything in life. Otherwise, life would be so boring. It would be boring. We're meant to experience it and live it. And she's saying that. It has so many roads. It's not meant to be understood immediately. And then she finally finished so You just believe in your dreams. Thank you, Diana Ankinchenova. I've often said that in my videos. Just believe in your dreams. And you, yourself, once you believe in yourself, will teach them to fly and fly. And that, everybody, after a very long-winded video, is my analysis of the video. I hope you liked it. Take care for now. I'm going to make it short.